Hey guys, the Modkipian, the newly called Modkipian Emperor here. Used to be called Modkip Rocks, and today I'm coming at you with a top 10. This is my first top 10 and scripted video. I hope you guys enjoy, so smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below what you want me to top 10 slash top 5, share this with your friends, and check out Luigi Fan 1013 and Lightning948 with a capital L. And it, make sure to check out Luigi Pin Nuzlocke's me and Luigi Fan 1013's new channel. Anyway, let's -a go! Okay, guys, so I've never actually played Double Dash. But now I really want to play it so badly. In this game, two characters race together. This was creative and an amazing idea. This is ranked low because I've never played it, but if I did, it would be much higher. Let's move on to number 9. Most people don't know about this game. But this game is a beauty. It has eight worlds, extra worlds, unlockables, and the world bosses. And each world has a different, unique mechanic. When I was like five, I remember being addicted to this game. Anyway, on to number eight. Ah, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I didn't actually enjoy this a lot. But, it's had a lot of things for the future. New items, extra worlds, four characters, and so much more. Anyway, on to number seven. I love this game! I love this game! I love this game! Now you're wondering why it's so low now? Never played it. But, it is awesome. Just like Mario Kart Double Dash, it was experimenting in all hail Flood. I love Flood. And it brought a Bowser Jr. Number 6. Again, not a fan favorite. But this game is a whole lot of fun. And has different equally fun modes. Basketball. Dodgeball, volleyball, hockey, tourneys, and even boss battles. You gotta check this game out. But on to number five. A another non fan favorite sports game. But I love this game. It's Mario Sports plus baseball plus Bowser Jr. Plus story, plus building teams. I love this game. But there's not a lot to say about it, so on to number four. And some more Mario Kart. This game was creative, had amazing tracks, and the Makawoohoo glitch. My only complaint is that when you're in first a lot, you get two blue shells a game, while your opponents don't even get any if they're there for the whole race. And the Tanuki suit. Number one, stinked. Number two, made me fall off a cliff more than help me. But anyway, number three. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. And our current LP. Let's look at it. Four Mushroom Kingdom heroes with different play styles. Peach is playable. Extra worlds. No checkpoints in some levels. I mean stages. Fake flagpoles. Normal difficulty levels. No checkpoint bosses. And I guess Rosalina, but no one likes her. Awesome game! Anyway, a unique story in 3D. Now, number two. And my
my favorite Mario Kart. This game had different carts and stats and was a little slow, but it had great battles, missions, which were awesome and I want more of in new games. This was my first Mario Kart in Waluigi Pinball. Now, honorable mentions. New Super Mario Bros. Luigi's Mansion. Mario Kart Wii. Mario Party 8. And Super Mario RPG Levin Legend of the Seven Stars. You knew it. Super Mario 64 DS. I found the original okay, but this is my only 3D platformer, not counting 3D World, because that's kind of like the main series, not where you can punch. That I played, and it fixed everything up. Added multiple different characters, switched stars and silver stars, more bosses, 30 more stars, and Luigi is the best way to play. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed my first top 10 slash 5 list and scripted vid. This is the Mudkipian Emperor signing out.